So it's about 10 o'clock right now, and I already got my workout on this morning, hit some arms, had a protein shake, and now I'm going to have some butter noodles. And the protein shake that I did have was this serious mass. Hopefully you guys can see it. So I had a half a serving of that. Next item on the agenda, this cliff bar. Then I'm going to be going to get my hair cut. Might stop at GNC and get some Quest bars. And that brings up a topic. If you guys buy your supplements at GNC, please look online for the exact same supplements you buy on Amazon, Google, Tiger Fitness, some sort of site. Because I guarantee, if you don't already know, you can find it for much, much cheaper than what GNC basically charges it's very overpriced I know they have like a rewards program but even that is very overpriced but if you are in a pinch I know and I've heard I've never done this myself so don't take my word for it but I've heard they do price math match so if you are looking for something in a pinch you don't want to wait for the shipping because I know that's why a lot of people do not like GNC or excuse me that's why I do, a lot of people do not like ordering online because it takes so long compared to GNC getting it right away please just do your research end up you're gonna end up spending a lot more money than you need to so let's go get the haircut what's going on guys just got back from GNC and getting my haircut hold on one second hold on hold on you can see I don't know it's horrible lighting right now I don't know if you can tell but I got my haircut and I'm trimming Trim the sides down short, trying to grow off the top a little bit instead of just rocking the traditional buzz. But who cares about that? About to show you guys this quest bars I got and talk about water. Water, guys, is very, very important. If you guys are cutting, this is a good way to kind of hold off your appetite and just be able to kind of not be thinking about food so much all the time. And I say this because a lot of people I know do not drink enough water and a lot of times guys that can be a lot of a problem solver for a lot of people's issues just being constipated you can drink a lot more water obviously fiber which I love quest bars for 14 grams of fiber per which fiber I would recommend a 10 grams of fiber per 1000 calories you get and um, I digress though water can help you as well stop being so constipated you're going to be able to move your digestive system along better than if you didn't so drink enough water make sure you guys stay hydrated you'll feel more awake a lot of times right away in the morning i'll drink a ton of water i know a lot of people do that but that is something that helps me curb my appetite because i'm always starving right away in the morning and it's not that i'm cutting or anything right now but i just don't have the time to make a breakfast instantly so drinking a little bit of water making sure i'm hydrated to start the day is a great way to start and just one tip I had. So I'm probably gonna have one of these at some point today. My dad just grilled up a bunch of chicken and I think pork chops, so I'm gonna have some of those too. I'll show you guys that in a second. And this is typically what I like to do, guys. This is all full of chicken breast, seasoned with just some lemon pepper, um, some actual pepper, I believe, and then just a little bit of um, salt, and I think that's it. And he just grills these up. Um, these are the chicken tenderloins. You can buy them for a pack. I, they're pretty cheap, um, but this is typically what I do. This whole thing's filled with it, so I'll usually have about six ounces or so at a time, and I pretty much just guesstimate, guys. I'm really just looking at it and just kind of guesstimating. I'm not overly thinking about this, especially during my bulk. I'm just making sure that I'm guesstimating lower than it actually would be just simply so I'm getting more than I need and um, if you were in a cut you'd probably want to do it the opposite but um, I would recommend probably weighing it out to be as accurate as possible if you're trying to be that accurate especially in a prep or something for a bodybuilding show what have you so this is filled with chicken and this is filled with pork chops so um, this is something that you guys can do too um, I know a lot of people don't like actually meal prepping but this is my form of meal prepping I'll just make a bunch of meat um, and then I'll grab out of the freezer whenever I'm trying to make a meal like some broccoli and I'll steam this up really quickly or I'll grab some rice um, or I'll make like a chicken um, stir-fry with some uh, mixed veggies 
So basically guys, what I'm trying to say is you don't have to overcomplicate meal prepping. Really make it simplistic as possible. Make it with the foods you like. And um, really the only things that I meal prep so they're ready to go is my meats. And other than that, I'm really not making anything um, the day before or anything like that. I make instant rice when I make it. And um, otherwise I'm pretty much just eating when I need to. So like I said guys, don't overcomplicate it. Um, I'm guessing this is around six to eight ounces or so. Um, but like I said, guys, don't overthink it. Um, basically, what I'm gonna do is I'll put this in the microwave and I'm just gonna have this as a simple meal. Um, I'm not one who eats a lot at a time. That's not because I think that's gonna make me gain more muscle than another way of eating. That's just because I don't like eating a lot at once. So I hope that makes sense, guys. This isn't some strategic plan that I have to only eat my protein at once and then eat my carbs later, etc. It's really just because I like eating, not necessarily the biggest amount of meals, as you can see, and kind of even eating more throughout the day. So do what works best for you guys. If there's, if you eat three big meals, two big meals even, and just have protein shakes, or you don't even do anything else other than that, do what works for you. If you're hitting the macros at the end of the day, guys, you're doing just fine. Don't worry about it and don't stress little things like meal timing. Uh, one more thing, one more thing, guys. I'm actually gonna take this out before I put it in the microwave because anything plastic that gets like warmed up or hot. Um, like bowls, like stuff like, like a bowl like this or a bowl like this, like not a ceramic bowl. Don't put that in the microwave with like things that you see like BPA free. BPA is in a lot of those stuff so I'm not trying to be like super like overly overkill with like watching out for your health but that's not good for you. Just saying. <laughs> So I know I kind of told you guys earlier that I don't really track my macros currently and that is definitely true. I really just focus on my protein and just staying in a surplus. But I thought that I was doing, I thought that since I was doing a full day of eating for you guys today, I would kind of input and use a guesstimation method for tracking and show you guys how you can do it. So as you can see, I don't really care too much. I put everything in the breakfast menu um, or category, I should say. And I'm sorry if this is not focusing very well, guys, but I'm going to do my best. Basically, you can see at the top, I've had approximately 2,700 calories today. And my goal, is, as you can see, is 4,000. But I really don't focus on that too much, guys. I really focus on these numbers. So I'm focusing on my fats, my fiber, my carbs, and my protein. So as you can see... Um, this is a little bit outdated, but I weigh about 158 pounds right now, so I'm shooting for about a gram of protein per pound of body weight. Right on there with that. Um, shoot, I shoot for about 400 to about 450, 500 carbs daily. And like I said, guys, I'm doing pretty well on my fiber. Shoot for about 10 grams of fiber per 1,000 calories, so I'm doing just fine on that. Um, and then my fat is very low today. So seeing that I still have a decent amount of fat because my range is about 50 to 70, for my bulk and if I'm under that I'm not too stressed but that does show me that I have room to input something down here like ice cream or candy bar or something like that so hopefully hopefully that makes sense guys but basically I just wanted to show you that just because all of these inputs are guesstimated I really just kinda used the best of my abilities to guesstimate and make sure that I am near where I'm wanting to be so just take this as kind of a lesson that you don't need a scale. I don't own a food scale, never have, and I'm sure if I do prep for a competition or do something of that nature, really take a serious focus in on a cut, I will purchase a scale. But with that being said, right now, guys, I'm not going to be that strict when it comes to my bulk because I don't want to go insane. Um, so hope that makes sense, guys.
gonna finish up the night with a protein shake and I will show you guys that and it's gonna be like overlaid this and all cool um, and I'm gonna be talking in the background because that's the power of editing but I'm gonna be making that and then I'm gonna be probably not having anything else maybe a couple brownies that I also show you guys but I hope you guys enjoyed this full day of eating and I can do a lot more of them if you guys want so please like the video if you would like that and I will talk to you guys in the next one thank you guys for watching